Final game. What is up, everybody? Sonic Run on here, and welcome back to Strong Bad's Cool Game for Attracted People. This time, we're tackling Episode Two: Strong Badier, the Free. Everyone gets ice cream. Huzzah! All right. Uh, just they, to they check. Ask, can this game be saved? I ask. Can this game be loaded? Jesus. All right. No game. Yeah, PS3 no version is not exactly the uh, the most is is bug ridden. Anyway, start a new game. Let's begin. Now this game pretty much takes place right after episode one finished. So if you guys haven't seen my episode one playthrough, spoilers. Emails best when it don't scroll. Hey, strong bad. What's the dumbest law the king of town has ever passed? Don't you think you would be a better ruler <coughs> than the king of town? Your pal, Roy T. Castle Hill. Well, Roy D., it goes without saying <laughs> I'd be a better ruler than the king of town. But seriously, who wants that job? Stuck in a castle all day? Stuck making dumb laws? Probably stuck in the bathtub? No thanks, man. And the king of town's mostly harmless. Sure, he's stupid looking, as the scientific diagram illustrates. But he stays out of my business, and that lazy fair approach to government is a welcome alternative. Oh, I think I'd like to go to the lazy fair. Aha! Uh -huh. Caught your red glove, did The king of town? How'd you get in here? In flagrant disregard of my new email tax, eh? One creamy ding snack cake for every email sent or received. Email tax? Flagrant? Creamy ding? Oh, so you refuse to pay. Poopsmith, administer the color of the Uh oh. Oh. What are you doing? Hey, you are under house arrest. Oh, you have freedom. the right to bribe me. Anything you offer will be eaten by me, whether cooked or raw. Try <laughs> walking past that fence downstairs, and blammo! Hope you weren't too attached to that head. And one more thing. My map! I need that! This will make sure you stay put until you can pay up! Now let's ride, Poopsmith! Gotta go collect on my new pour a bag of jelly beans down my gullet packs! House arrest? Oh man, this is the worst thing to happen to my style in a long line of bad things happening to my style! I gotta find a way out of here and give that uncharacteristically oppressive king of town a serious mustache pounding! Yeah, so here we are. We are stuck under house arrest. No we cannot. Without representing. Shut up. Yeah, so we're stuck under house arrest. We cannot leave the house. But uh, one thing we can do now, we can actually go inside Strong Sad's room. Make it quick. I've got a full and even the uh, the bathroom. Now, one thing we need to pick up is the red towel. Strong Why? Sands You'll see later. Blanket. Strong Mad's new athletic region towel. I don't want to know about that. Right, what have we got in here? What, you, what is up? What was all that noise about? Oh, great! Stuck under house arrest with no one but little Lord Fat Leroy, the most depressing kid brother ever left on the front porch by gross gypsies. That's never been proven. The king of town put me <coughs> under house arrest. House arrest? That's not fair. Seriously? I mean, wait, why are you upset? I was hoping you'd get sent back to prison and I'd get some peace. <laughs> I've got an unassembled model of the Con Tiki that's just waiting for your next incarceration. Yeah, so we don't really need to talk to him. Really. Uh, let's go downstairs. And um, just like the previous episode, um, everything in the house is pretty much the same. You can click on everything. Let's go in the fridge, see what's in there. I love how the fridge smells like rotting vegetables when there's never been a vegetable in it. Huh. Right. So yeah, nothing really new here. And like we saw in the cutscene, we can't use our map. Who can withstand the otherworldly horror of Ugrug, the world's ugliest rug? Okay then. Uh, oh. There's some things in here. Oh, a crown. My crown from Blubbo's. Why did they ever stop making the jalapeno and king snake meat double deluxe? Why? I don't know, Strong Bad. And um, here's something interesting and new. Ne you may remember in the last episode we picked up a shovel. 
Well, now the metal detector comes equipped with the shovel. All right, the tarantula black metal detector. Now with built-in shovel attachment. So, uh, yeah, now we don't need to find the shovel again. With just bed. a bed and a little imagination, home organization is a breeze. Now, you may remember in the uh, last part when I did an extras video on the first episode. This time, I'm probably not going to do extras videos anymore because nothing's really new between the different episodes. You've pretty much got the same stuff. You've got the fun machine, you'll get Teen Girl Squad, you'll get all that. So, I might as well show off the fun Let's machine see, game, game of the week. I got up for the fun machine? Math kickers featuring the algebras. Oh and boy! What are video games gonna learn? You can't learn from video games. Tell that to all the educational games. <laughs> but yep, this is basically a Streets of Rage ripoff, except it's based on math. So let's just have a quick go. So we've literally got a character who is called. De we've got Dex and we have Ryu. Literally, they called him Ryu. The Street Fighter Ryu as well. So basically, we keep walking on. Pizza pie. Ha. Huh. And then basically, we've got to you um make the math match the uh, the sum. All right. Like so. And we basically do this the entire time. Just keep walking right, wait until a math problem appears, and out ow. Punch, maim. I'm the master go. of hand-to-hand -hand arithmetic. To be honest, this game's not that great. To be honest, by the game I mean, um, right. I'm talking about this mini What's game this? here. It's not as good as the last one. And then the last bit here, we just... What I like to do is mash! Until the uh, the sum is defeated. Like so. Level up. And the level is up. But uh, yeah, we're not going to play this for much longer. This uh, math kick is. It's, to be honest, it's just... Eh. Not as good as Snake Boxer 5, but whatevs. Anyway, let's go to the basement. See what else we've got here. Ooh, uh, is that a cushion? Oh, pi pillow. Big fat pillow filled with big fat dust mites. Ugh. Okay. And lastly, we want the couch stuffing. Oh man, I knocked the stuffing out of the couch again. I gotta stop having those dreams where I'm trapped in an elevator with Milkmaid Homestar. <laughs> oh God, that is a horrible dream. Nobody wants to see Homestar in a milkmaid outfit. That's just disturbing. Anyway, you're probably wondering why I'm picking all this stuff up. Well, first, I want to show you what happens if we walk outside. This is the reason why we can't leave the house. Yeah, our head explodes. <laughs> Luckily, we still keep our head on, but... An invisible fence that makes your head explode when you cross it. Seemed like such an awesome idea when I recommended it at the last town meeting. So it was your fault, Strong Bad, who, who gave them the idea for this. <sighs> but anyway, you're probably wondering why we need the uh, all this a piece of stuff that we're uh, picking up. Well, it's because for this uh, thing that's happening outside the window. What are you guys doing here? Can't you see I got enough troubles? I'm a political prisoner. Political That's why prisoner. We're here, strong bad. This is a peaceful protest rally. Peaceful? Free strong bad. No taxing without representing. Your eyes are still messed up, Coach Z. I even wrote you a protest song. Come on, everybody now. Can't you hear the wind blow? We don't like the king of town making people's heads explode. Cruel and unusual. All right, so we should talk about the uh, the effigy. Bring that ugly, misshapen stick. She organized the protest rally. <laughs> Marzipan, though that's a pretty good one. Got to remember <laughs> that. I'm talking about that stick dangerously close to the invisible fence. That's our orphigy at the king of town. Orphigy. Orphigy. RPG. 
First person shooter! Effigy? That looks nothing like the King of Town. Yeah, Muzzy Pan made us take all that stuff off. Right, Homestar. We're protesting the <coughs> actions of the King of Town, not the man himself. Fight the power! We was gonna burn it, but after looking at that pathetic thing, our hearts just ain't in it. We wanna fry up the King of Town, not Stickball Jackson. <laughs> Stickball Jackson is literally uh, a character from the... Uh... The uh, Homestar Runner website, but um, Three, yeah, what we what we need to look at is stupid actually this. King of stupid town. Basically, in that drawing, you can see what we actually need in order to make the effigy look like that drawing. So let's go in the King of Ten effigy yeah, and let's put down the following in. items: the red towel, royal robe and size husky. Check. Hey, to cheat. What's red and fat and smells like rancid meatloaf? <laughs> No, the other thing. <laughs> Basically, the cheat will then put the uh, the object on the the effigy. So next, we've got the paper crown. The crown that gets the king all up in my grill, acting like he owns the place or something. Check. The pillow. The king's morbid obesity. Check. And one last thing, couch stuffing. The king's ridiculous looking beard that's supposed to hide his lack of a jawline. Check. Oh, like two pieces of cotton balls there for a second. <laughs> oh, hello, king of town. There we go. It's him. It's the guy. Burn him off. Burn the king. Oh, well. Take him out, boys. And he burns it. Boom. Whoosh. Sweet recently divorced Lady Freedom. And we are now free. Strong Bellia. Strong Bellia, the free. Hey, that's the day with it. <laughs> Referencing the title of the game. Friends and losers, my long incarceration has taught me that we can never be truly free until we reject the long incarceration, even though you just got town. uh incarcerated I shall only in the same to day. As the of town. As of today, Strong Badia is its own independent nation. <gasps> the cheat, if you will. We should all live in a place where we are free. Free to pick our friends. Free to pick our noses. And most importantly, free to pick our friends' noses. Ugh. That's why I, Strong Bad of the Mighty Tidy Whities, declare war on the of town. Who's with me? I. I mean, oh. Where'd everybody go? And everyone left. Seceded? They can't do that. I'm the only one who gets his own country. Okay. Now, before we end this episode, or this this part of this episode, let's pick up the game board. Already my beautiful nation, defiled by litter. Aha! This maps and minions board will be perfect to plot my course to world domination. There's borders here, and the ocean, gather topological data from the survey team, put a dragon here, and perfect! If I'm here, and I want to get to the of town and his stupid castle here, hmm, I'm pretty much gonna have to lay waste to everything and crush all the free nations under the steel-toed boot of the strong Badian Empire. I better get crack a lack it. So... This is our objective. We have to go from Strong Badia, go through all the other nations that all the other characters are made up, to get to the castle. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, we're going to end this little part here of Strong Bad's Cool Game for Attractive People, Episode 2. If you enjoyed this part, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, stay tuned for more, and join me next time where we will continue the game. Thank you, and goodbye.